Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be sharing a beautiful recipe and a lot of my viewers are going to be happy tonight. This is what I have on the menu and these are some nice edos that I already peeled and washed them. I have one bygan. I'm going to make a curry edos and bygan the good old-fashioned Guyanese way and I'm gonna fry up some bangamiri fillets and I will add this to my curry and we're gonna serve this up with some roti tonight and this is one of my all times favorite edo and bygan curry with some fried fish. come on down and let's get cooking but first of all we're gonna season the fish and set it aside to marinate while I am cutting up my eggplant or bacon and edos. So we added black pepper, salt, just a few ingredients, goes a long way with bangamiri. And we're gonna add some green seasoning, contains of garlic, green onion, thyme, and maruri pepper. So we have about two tablespoons. It's not a lot of bangamiri. So we're gonna just go in here, mix up all this goodness. And we're just gonna set this aside and leave it to marinate. That's all you need. Bangamiri is very easy to prepare and you don't need a lot for this fish so I'm gonna leave this and then we're gonna move on to the bygone so when I'm cooking the bygone I like to leave the skin on if it's more than one I'll peel some of the skin the skin tend to have a lot of flavors but if you don't like the skin you can always take it off and then what I do I just cut it down like that and then make smaller pieces so they can cook fast. So here we have all the spices for our curry. I have my lawless curry powder, I have my turmeric, and I have some roasted ground jeera. I will leave all the measurements in the description below and I'm gonna be adding my green seasoning here now. And I have some onions chopped up to add to the curry as well. So I'm just making a little bit of curry tonight. So I'm gonna mix that up to a paste. We're gonna add a little bit of water. Let's head over to the stove and get cooking. So now I have uh, two teaspoons of oil into the pan. I'm gonna add my curry paste here now. And we're gonna let this Bunji, or let the spice cook for a little before we add anything else to this pan. So I'm gonna let the oil warm up and when the curry paste start cooking, I will cover this down and let it cook for a few minutes. So our curry paste is bunjain or cooking up um, nicely. I can see here that the paste changed into a nice brownish color. That means the spices are really cooking up well. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water because we want this spice really to cook and open up all the flavors 
before we add anything else. So now I'm gonna let it cook about another two minutes before I add anything else to the pot. This is looking good for me and I'm gonna add in my onions. We're going to add our salt. And we're going to put a little bit and then we can always add after. We're going to mix this in. It really smells nice in my kitchen. And we're going to just cook the onions for a minute or so. And then we're going to add our edos in here. So we're gonna mix this in a little and I'm gonna add the edos. And I just wanna shout out to Risa. I know you're gonna watch, he's one of my number one fan and he is a big fan of Edo. This is his favorite, so Risa, I'm gonna take a nice piece of Edo for you or two or three tonight. So now we're gonna add the edo's been cooking up a little and we don't want anything to burn so we're gonna add our bygone now we're gonna mix all this goodness and while this is frying up i'm gonna start frying the fish because at the end of this i'm gonna add the fish right at the end So now that everything is mixing, bygone and edos, I warm some water because I don't want to stop the cooking process. And we're going to add just about a cup and a half of water so we can cook the edos nice and soft and get a little bit of gravy for our roti. So we're, I'm, I'm going to cover this and leave it to cook. And we're gonna check it back in about four to five minutes on medium heat. So I lightly dust the Bangal Mary fish and I'm frying them here up. So once they're nice and golden brown on each side, I'm gonna take them out and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing with these fish. So let us check out this Edo and Baigan. It's coming along nicely. These edo looks like very, very nice and white. I know they're going to boil nice and soft. So I'm going to cover this back and let it cook some more until the edo is really tender. So look what's going on here right now. This is looking beautiful. Everything is melting away here in the pot. I can see these edos. Look at that. It's melting. I to just turn my stove off and how I like to put the fish in is just to put it on top like this and let it suck up some of that gravy and because we don't want the fish to break up and that's what I'm gonna do with the with the fish I'm gonna cover it down back and I'll show you when I'm about to serve how nice and how uh, juicy looking the fish will be so friends here it is my delicious edo and bygan curry with some fried fish added on top this is piping hot looking amazing the edos is nice and soft you don't always get nice edos but these ones are really really nice i didn't have this for a long time but this is one of my favorite. I like the fried fish flavor into this dish. And I made some soda roti to go with this. I have a birthday shout out. And I'm going to plate myself up and let you guys know how this tastes. Happy birthday greetings going out to Auntie Indira from your loving daughter Sherry Ann and family from your beautiful daughter Amrita and family and your 
one and only son Mark and family and your loving husband your brother Riza and the entire YouTube family so here it is my Edo and Baigan curry with my fried fish and it's very hot and I have my Sada roti Shamiza I have yours and I'm gonna now dig in for this just want to show how nice the roti is in the inside nice and soft and fluffy and this is what I like to eat my Edo and Baigan with and look here look at that nice and soft it's just melting away and i'm swallowing before i even taste this so the first mouthful always goes for you guys so cheers mm. wow the edos is really melting away and the bygone is also nice and soft and the combination is always so perfect together. I'm gonna take this other mouthful. And Riza, I'm gonna eat this edo for you. Look at that. How nice and soft it is. And I have to taste the fish because I like that curry flavor on the fish. It really gives a nice flavor. So cheers, guys. Perfect. For my Guyanese friend, I don't know when last you had this. And all my other friends who never had this before, please give it a try. You will love it. So if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. I love you guys. Bye for now.